and welcome to X-Ray Review. In this video, we're going to take a close look at this round density seen in the pelvic basin. As we look at this frontal lumbo-pelvic view, you can notice in the pelvic basin a bladder. Here's the sacrum, a couple vascular fleebliths, and then this density right here. And as we zoom in, there's no obvious evidence of calcification of this density. So the question is, is does this represent pathology? So here is another example of an individual who presented with low back pain. And on the left-hand side in the pelvic basin, there's a non-calcified density. And here is the next day, the same patient, re-x-rayed, and take a look at the pelvic basin. As we zoom in, that density is no longer visible uh, the next day. So what could this be if not pathology? And to answer that question, we have to look at the underlying anatomy of the lower GI tract. And what we have here is the ascending, transverse, descending, sigmoid, colon, and then rectum. And this is the right side of the patient. This is the left side of the patient. And often in the left side of the patient, around the area of the pelvic basin, you can see this sigmoid colon on FOSS, meaning that rather than seeing it um, you know, from a horizontal perspective, you're seeing it more from an axial perspective or looking straight on. And when there are, um, when there's a large amount of bowel contents, fecal material inside of the distal sigmoid colon, then it will appear as a density on the x-ray. So since there is no named radiographic sign for this appearance, and I have doctors ask me about it all the time, I'm going to call it the sigmoid colon fecal matter sign. And again, that's just that round density in the left aspect of the pelvic basin representing uh, prominent contents inside of the sigmoid colon. So let's look at a few more examples of this sigmoid colon fecal matter sign. And we can see on the left side above the bladder, you can see a non-calcified round density. And it is very important to note that this is not arising from the sacrum, and this can be determined looking at a lateral view to make sure there is nothing arising off of the sacrum. Here is another example of a round, non-calcified density on the left side of the pelvic basin above the bladder. This individual does have a few clothing artifacts to include a zipper and some buttons, but in the left aspect of the pelvic basin, a round, non-calcified density. In this individual, there is a round density on the left side, which also contains some air, which is not uncommon, uh, but this appearance can mimic a tumor or lesion, but again, just represents bowel contents. In many cases, poor technical factors can increase the probability of this increased dense appearance of the pelvic basin, and uh, this is a good example of that. And here's another example, just on the edge of the film on the left side, you'll notice that round density. And not to be confused with pathology, uh, and this does represent just normal prominent bowel contents. And lastly, this case should look different. This is calcified. This is not prominent bowel contents. This represents, um, in this specific case, a benign uterine fibroid or leiomyoma. So in the presence of calcification, then um, this absolutely should be followed up with further advanced imaging, most likely CT, and that could rule out any type of pathology. So as long as it's a non-calcified density, uh, in that area, looking at it like the cases I just showed, good chance it is just prominent fecal material inside of the sigmoid colon. 
All right. Well, thank you for making it this far. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, please put them below. And thanks again.